Hey guys, it's me again. Just a brief rant today, I promise. Um, I guess there's just a new movie that came out recently. I'm not really going to talk about that. Uh, it's a movie about um, child trafficking or something like that, and it's, I guess it's a big deal. But that's not really what I, what I wanted to um, talk about, really. Um, somebody posted on my Facebook um, page, or well, somebody, some a friend of mine from Facebook posted something about it and um, commented that, you know, America has gotten so bad and God is judging America because it has gotten so bad. Well, um, you know, that sounds like, you know, this that kind of comment, it didn't seem like there's really anything wrong with that. And um, I really don't necessarily disagree, but actually I sort of do. See, when people say that God is judging America, it implies that there's some sort of covenant between the Lord and the United States. There is not. There absolutely is not. All of God's promises to Israel are Israel's alone and cannot be applied to the United States. Um, absolutely not. I know a lot of people try to, but no. They try to glorify the United States. Um, as though we're this beacon of light that the Lord looks upon favorably. Do not flatter yourself. Stop worshiping this country. The thing is, when somebody says that God is judging America for all the bad things that we do, when somebody claims that, the implication is that once, quote-unquote, America starts doing the right things, the good things that pleases the Lord, that God's going to turn around and um, bless America. And make it prosperous again. So my point is, these people who, who say these things that God's judging America, you think they mean well, and they want the United States to turn around and repent and all that. But what they're really saying is that they worship this world, they worship this country, they love this world so much, they don't give a crap about the rapture because the blessed hope is not a blessed hope to them at all. They'd rather stay here in this world stay in America, make it prosperous, enjoy their um, white picket fence and, you know, the American dream because it's way better than what Jesus has to offer in the rapture. We don't want the rapture yet. You know, life is so good here. It sucks now because America's doing bad. But, you know, if, if America as a nation repent, then God's going to bless us and everything's going to be fine again and we're, everybody's going to be happy, everybody's going to be prosperous. Whatever. No, that's not how it works. Stop worshiping this world. And you know, this video is not really meant for those people who say that, but it's meant, um, um, this message is, for, is meant for those of us who are truly looking to the Lord's appearing. We're looking for that rapture to happen soon because we know that that is our only real hope. And I'm making this video to try to encourage each and every single one of us who do belong to the Lord and want to be out of here soon to um, not be bothered by pretend Christians who say things like that. Like, you know, yeah, God's judging this nation. We need to repent so God will bless this nation again. No, there's no blessing this nation again. And as I've mentioned before in previous videos, maybe even my last one, what the heck does it mean for God, for, for America to turn back to God? When was America ever God's or whatever? When did it ever, when was America truly a godly Christian nation? It never was. I mean, how can you even define that? Because there's no such thing. You can't define that. What makes a nation a godly nation? Is it a certain percentage of the population being Christian? Is it the leadership being Christian? I mean, how do you really define it? You can't. And please don't... I know there's some loon who's going to quote some verse, uh, you know, that you know prayer verse. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, whatever. But, you know, just stop. It does not apply to the United States. Stop worshiping this country. And don't even bring up, you know, how our forefathers, you know, were all Christians and, you know, God bless this nation because of our forefathers. Like, God owes those guys something and, and you know, America is blessed because of them. No. The only reason America flourished for this long is because of the Abrahamic covenant in which the Lord told Abraham that he will bless those who blesses him and curse those who curses him. So yeah, maybe God's judgment is upon us, but if anything, it's because of America's stance on Israel today. And not only that, it's just the way it is. You know, um, 
we know in scripture from scripture that America is not going to be a, a key player during the end times. And as I've mentioned many times before, what does that mean? It means that a superpower like this to not play any role in the end time events described in the Bible. It only means that this nation is going down the drain and it, we are we already see it happening. So stop holding on to this world. Put your eyes on the real prize, which is the blessed hope. Jesus Christ gets saved. Put your faith in Jesus. Stop worshiping this world. Stop clinging on to it. And those of us who don't and whose hope are already in Jesus and the rapture, you know what? Don't listen to these loons who um, talk like, you know, this country has any hope and that we're going to stay here that much longer. I know they're, they're only trying to take your hope away, our hope away, because they love this world so much. Don't listen to them. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, America is not Israel. So, um, you, you can't flatter God into blessing this nation. And um, if you care so much about your life in this world and you, you, you hate to go to the rapture because it'll mess up your worldly plans, you can rest assured that you're not going to be part of the rapture. No, the rapture is not works-based. But if your heart is so set on staying and staying in this world and clinging on to it and the rapture is a bummer to you to me that indicates that you're not really born again because you have no desire to be with Jesus and you'd rather do all your whatever great plans you think you have left in this world than to be caught up in the air with him and get your new glorified eternal bodies you know because nothing will beat that in being with Jesus for eternity if you think anything's better than that you're not saved and I've been saying that forever so um yeah those of us who are really saved and are looking for his appearing just keep looking up don't listen to these people who worship this country and um yeah the hour of redemption draws near just things are lining up um, i wish i was gifted with um, understanding the seasons in greater detail so i can decipher this whole rapture code i know that it's very possible for us to know the day and the hour uh, the you know the, the bible suggests that and the fact that we're supposed to watch is the biggest clue that we can know. I mean, how far advanced are we going to know? I think not that far in advance, but keep watching. It's a big deal to watch, and you know, there's a crown waiting for us. So keep looking up, guys, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully, there won't be a next time.